When writing an automated visual test, sometimes you're going to want to change the match level that's being used for comparison against your baseline image. Um, this can be very true with various kinds of applications when dealing with dynamic content, shifting content, and various other options. Thankfully, within Apple Tools Eyes, there's the, the ability within the SDK to change the match level within your test setup. So here in this method of, of our test setup, uh, after creating an Apple Tools Eyes object and setting the API key, we can go ahead and set the match level with the set match level command. And this accepts um, as a parameter a match level object. So we say match level dot, and then it will list all the different match levels that we can use. And starting from the bottom and working our way up, we have strict. And the strict uh, match level is actually the default match level. So if we didn't specify a match level, that's what would be used. And it is designed to mimic the human eye to catch significant uh, issues uh, while ignoring trivial ones. Um, and then next up would be the exact. Um, exact match level is a pixel by pixel comparison. This is actually very likely to fail, and so it's not recommended. We then have content, and uh, content is designed to ignore style and uh, anti-aliasing differences, and so that it can spot just content changes. And then for other things, uh, dealing with dynamic uh, content and things like that, there's two different layout options. Basically, they're meant to ignore content changes and detect only layout changes. Um, and as I mentioned, it's useful for pages with dynamic content. And layout two is effectively layout, but a much better version of it, a more enhanced version, hence the clever name, layout two. So we're gonna go ahead and use layout two for this example. And that's largely because we're dealing with a page that's gonna load dynamic content. So that's all we're doing. We're loading the page and then checking the window. So if we go ahead and run this, and then hop over to the dashboard, we can see that the test passed. And if we look at the diff between the baseline and this test, we can see that the, the images were different, as was the text, and the test passed. Now, there's a helpful thing here within the GUI. Um, there is actually a way to select a different match level within the GUI. So right now it's set to layout two. If we had used layout, we can see that the test would have failed. And the same thing goes for the content uh, match level as for, same for strict, and of course the same thing for exact. And what we could do is actually choose a different match level if we wanted to, and then accept this and save it. Uh, the only issue is that even though it may seem intuitive that you just change the match level for this test going forward, what's actually going to happen is the value that you set in your test setup code is what's going to persist. So since we set layout to here, no matter what we actually change this to, it will not persist.